It's kind of relaxing, isn't it? Is. it? In fields and forests <laughs> and fens all across Ohio, music is in the air. It's the concert brought to our ears every year by insects. You may not see them, but you can definitely hear them. Photojournalist Carl Bactel met up with Lisa Rainsong. She records these sounds of nature and studies what's making the music. We have a concert hall that's from the ground at the tops of the trees, unlike the Cleveland Orchestra that has a concert hall that's very much horizontal. Lisa Rainsong loves the sounds of nature. She's been recording the calls of crickets, katydids, and lots of other critters to open people's ears to what's living around them. And when we start listening to that, that has a whole picture to their lives and their experience, and we actually become a part of that. Her free online field guide is full of recordings and photos of summertime music makers, like the snowy tree cricket, the true Katie did, and the tiny spring trig. They're very romantic songs. The males are auditioning, and the females are the ones who are gonna make the choice. The love songs of insects can tell us a lot from the health of an ecosystem to the effects of climate change and more. Their music can add a layer of awareness to what's around us. And I think more than anything, they're also getting that protecting the concert halls is essential or the concert doesn't continue. And then we will go away. Sing on, insects, sing on. In Willoughby Hills, Carl Bactel, 3 News.